guys and gals, Nary here from Drake Wing Gaming, sending them on Twitter, The Gaming Drag. Today I'm coming back at you another Let's Play episode of After Class, Mark's Path. So yeah, let's go ahead and jump right back in, shall we? Please sit back and enjoy for the next 18 minutes to entertain you. Let's jump right in. Alarm chain, you are up, and let's go. Okay. <clears throat> that voice slowly wakes you up. When you're fully awake, the first thing you saw as you opened your eyes was a perfect package packed a, packed a pair of pretty pecs. What? <laughs> no wonder it feels so warm. Did we cuddle all night? What unrealistic thinking. No one could stand cuddling that long. Hey, hey, eyes up here. Oh, right, sorry. Once he realized you were awake, he let go of you. Now you felt empty. Give me back my cat cuddles. Was what you wanted to say, but let's not do that for now. He got up and fixed his clothes and said something as he headed out of your room. You might want to hurry. Everyone has woken up. We are the last ones. Oh, really? Yep. Okay, then. If what he said was true, you should hurry up. Ugh. And I was having a good cuddle, too. How are you going to be sulking there? Ah, coming. Oh, you're awake. Finally, these lovebirds are up. Well, I'm sorry, Coach Gill, but we're not lovebirds. Aw, not yet. Oh, <laughs> I don't need to hear that. Just go shower or something. We're having breakfast soon. Got it, Captain. Same to you, Henry. You can go first, Henry. It's your bathroom, after all. Oh, okay. Thanks, Mark. No worries. I'll go first, then. And, oh, you guys can turn on the lights. It's fine. <laughs> After finishing your shower, you headed back to your room. You wanted to tell Mark that, that you were done, but he was lying down in your bed instead. Being in the shower gave you a chance to ponder about what happened last night. Thanks to that, you felt a little bit awkward around Mark. How should I approach him now? Gently wake him up. Call for help. <laughs> no use being awkward. Let's just tell him. He stood, he stood before the sleeping lion, touching his shoulder and started to shake it intensely. Hey, I finished showering. What happened to gently waking him up? Ugh, just five minutes, Dad. Dad? I'm not his dad. Ugh, it's me. Hmm? Oh, it's you. It's your turn now. It's now your turn, Mark. He rubbed his eyes as he sat up. To make, sh to make sure he wouldn't go back to sleep, he stayed there instead of leaving the room. Ugh, um. He stretched his arms up in the air and yawned as loud as he could. That was ungraceful. Mm. Thinking that he might be getting up now, you turned around and headed to the door. Come on, let's go- Ah! But he lunged at you and wrapped his arms around your waist instead. You weren't prepared for that, so he managed to pull you to the bed with him. Right now, your back laid flat on him. He had you pinned with his legs and arms locked in your chest. You couldn't break free even though you wanted to. Hey, what gives? He didn't say anything, but this position you were in was a little bit grotesque. Maybe that was an exaggeration, but it wasn't comfortable to say the least. One second he was silent and still, the other he moved his hand around your neck. S Stop that! And after that, you felt something prickly touching your jugular. It was wet, as if... Wait, was that was his tongue? He was licking your neck, salivating over it. As if licking wasn't enough, he started play-biting play on it, making you squirm. Once he finished teasing you, he rolled over and left the bed. Why did he stop? Yeah, my bad. I just wanted to try that once. That's not funny! You wanted me to continue, though, didn't you? Well, uh, uh... I would, but I haven't had him brush my teeth. It's not flattering. Yes, our breaths aren't the nicest in the morning, so I won't kiss you or anything like that. Perfect minty breath in the morning upon waking up is only a thing in movies and comics. I'm gonna go shower now. Maybe we can continue later. He brushed his tail against your arm before leaving the room. Not a chance. That was enough teasing for a day. You look flustered. Is everything all right? Ah, Anders, I'm fine. <laughs> Good to know. You changed your shirt. Yeah. Yeah? So, how was sleep, Anders? It was okay. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> nothing to talk about. Oh, it's always this awkward with him. How about you? Oh, I slept fine. Even with Mark next to you. Yeah. I figured he'd, he'd turn and toss around all night. Oh, really? Maybe I slept soundly more than usual last night. I suppose so. But Mark... Ha! <laughs> you really know him, huh? Well... Yes? Whoa, that was good! Eh? Mark? That was fast. I only took a brisk cold shower. There's no need to stay longer than I should. Cold shower? Really? Yep. Anything wrong with that? No, not really. So what now? We're waiting, I think. What are we waiting for? Breakfast. Ah, okay. Oh, Anders, what were you going to say earlier? Oh, no, nothing. Huh? Okay, then. Right, Anders, about the painkiller recipe you asked about. Oh, you found it? 
Oh, you found it? Not exactly, but here's what I found. Painkiller recipe. Should I be concerned? Maybe it's not my business. Hey, I'm going to the kitchen for a bit. I'm thirsty. Okay. Anyway. He felt like he shouldn't intrude, so he left them both and headed to the kitchen. Henry, breakfast's not ready yet. Ah, Coach Gill. I'm just going to sit here. Where's Anders and Mark? They're talking about something. Uh, you feel left out, don't you? Uh, maybe. Sit here, I'll give you lots of attention. <laughs> no, you won't. You're helping us make breakfast. Parker, don't- Parker, don't stay while the, don't stay there. Don't stay there while carrying the pepper shaker. I need it. Right. Sorry. Well, that's how it is, Henry. It's okay, Coach Gale. I'll sit here. I won't get in the way, I promise. Gotcha. He leaned in closer and said something. You'd be a good boy, and I'll give you a big treat later, okay? Just do your thing, Coach. Yeah. <laughs> I'd say the Coach is doing his thing, hitting all the students and being weird and creepy. <laughs> Gil, pass me the salt. Roger. It's amazing how well they work together. You sat there quietly, watching them cook your breakfast while low-key being impressed about it. Breakfast's ready. Now go call Mark and Anders for us, will ya? Sure thing. Hey, Anders, Mark, breakfast ready. Did you end up drinking the whole the whole ocean? What do you mean? You said you were thirsty. You've been in the kitchen for the 20 minutes or so. Oh, I did? Yeah, you did. I didn't realize that. <laughs> That's obvious. Uh, but why does it matter? I was talking with the others. You're right. It doesn't matter. Is he trying to make me feel bad? I hope he isn't because, it, hope he isn't because it's working. I'm kidding. You can do whatever you want to do. I hate you. I know you don't. I will. You won't. Ah! <laughs> Let's just go to the kitchen. He walked off all by himself while Anders and you stood there, confused. He looked at Anders briefly. He shook his head as if he was saying, I don't know what just happened. Everyone's here, but it seems like there's not enough seats for all of us, though. Anders and I will eat somewhere else. No big deal. Are you sure? Yes. I don't mind. Hmm. Is he really joking? He seems upset. Uh, Mark, why do you have to be so confusing? Once Mark and Anders finished getting whatever they wanted on their plates, they went back to the living room. Something happened between the three of you. Surprisingly, Lars caught on and decided to ask you about it. Uh, I don't know. Does it have anything to do with you sitting here just a while ago? That might be it. What do you mean, Coach Gill? Didn't you say that you felt left out and you decided to come here? I did. I suspect that you told him that you needed something in the kitchen, but you didn't come back to him. Yeah, I told him that I was thirsty. In that case, you just lied to him. I believe Mark is trying to say that he's upset at you for not returning to him after coming here, or, and that you weren't being honest. But he doesn't know how to do it, so he just acts out instead. You're strangely knowledgeable about this, Gil. What can I say? I teach psychology of sexuality, after all. There are times where you shouldn't be apologizing for your actions, but the same can be said about the opposite. I see. I don't think I've apologized to him. Maybe I should do that later. Let's eat out, let's eat out our breakfast, shall we? I can wait. You're right. Food is just as important. After that delicious breakfast you had, along with the cleaning of the dishes, all of you gathered in the living room. I think we should leave by now, everyone. Yeah, actually, my friend has been waiting in front of Publix for a while now. Your friend? This is new. I haven't heard of this. It's Abby. Oh, the one in my class? Yes. Oh, boy. Why do you get nervous every time you hear your students' names? It's, uh, personal. Then we shouldn't intrude. I appreciate that, you guys. Nah, I don't care, really. Ugh. <laughs> don't mind him, Mr. Parker. Yes, never mind me. I'm not important. What? I didn't say that. Sure you didn't. Are you still upset about earlier? I don't know what you're talking about. Never mind, then. You two cut it out. Stop acting like kids. Hmm. It's not my fault. If you won't stop, I'll start doing things to both of you. No, you're not doing going to do that. <laughs> Nothing can stop me. Okay, okay. Okay, okay, we'll stop. Good, let's not waste our time anymore. Check your belongings, make sure you have everything you want to bring with you. All good? Let's head to Bubbuck's bus stop then. Abby! Ah, finally here! I thought you guys wouldn't show up. Shh, I wouldn't even ask you to wait here if we weren't going to show up in the first place. I know. <laughs> Mr. Stone and Coach Gill are here, too. Hello. What's up? Anders. Still, Anders still sticking around with Mark? Apparently so. Oh, this is... 
Lars, nice to meet you. Avi, uh, nice to meet you too. And of course, our main guest, Henry. That's me. I'm not too sure about the main part, though. <laughs> I don't think I've had too many chances to talk with you, Henry. Maybe now we can talk more freely. Oh, yeah. Where did you come from and what happened? It's not often I see someone transferred during mid-semester. Oh, I'm from Farfetch. You're from Farfetch? What a coincidence. I was from there, too. Oh, really? That's cool. Anyway, Mark suddenly sprang up from the bench and stood between you and Avi. Avi, how, how long you, how, for how long did you wait? Not so long, maybe ten minutes or so. That's not too bad. Maybe, but sitting here alone was a painful experience, not to mention the bugs flying around me. Good thing I had insect repellent, and the mosquitoes would have a feast. Hey guys, I think that's the bus. Oh yeah, that is. We'll continue this later, if you'd like, Henry. Yeah, it's exciting knowing someone from the, si from the, from the same city as me. Likewise. All of you stood around the bus stop until the bus finally stopped. Once it did, the door opened and each of you hopped on. Ooh, it's spacious. Don't say that out loud, you're embarrassing us. But I don't see anyone else here. I let you off with a, off the hook because you made a good point. Gee, thanks. Can you two stop arguing first? We can't sit down with you two getting in the way. Ah, sorry. You don't want to make anyone feel uncomfortable lo longer, longer, so you move to a nearby seat as fast as you could. Can you release my arm now? While putting, while pulling Mark with you. Ah, sorry, I didn't realize I was holding your hand. That's fine. I prefer a window seat, though. You can take my place if you want. That's fine. What's the problem with him? Why are you being so difficult? There was an awkward pause between your question and his answer. Is that how it's always been? It wasn't even an answer you were expecting. He was just being dismissive at this point. I'm gonna give them their tickets. Yours is in my backpack. Look for it yourself. Fine. Mark left his seat to distribute the tickets. He did ever so swiftly, as if he was experienced in that field. He finished giving everyone their own tickets almost immediately, but he didn't go back as soon as he was done. He stood next to Abby's seat and started talking with him instead. Not being sure what to do while waiting for him to come back, he decided to rummage through his backpack. He did say that you should look for it yourself. So you did. Apparently he brought a lot of things with him. You could see inside. Two pairs of earpieces, some portable game consoles, a small pouch, a water bottle, his wallet, and some random other things that you'd probably never seen before until now. It just occur it just occurred to you how big his backpack was. I don't see me I don't see my ticket anywhere. He'd better not be pulling a prank on me. Could it be in the small pouch? It did look sus anyway. Your hand dived your hand dived into the backpack to grab it, but Mark stopped you before you managed to pull it out. No, it's not it's not there. Oh, I thought it's in my wallet. He put that shady looking pouch back into the back into his backpack and grabbed his wallet for you. Put it back put it back after you got the thing. And don't go rummaging through my stuff. Right. Sorry. Oof. You were caught red-handed. On the other hand, you got to see what was inside his wallet. Let's see here. A lot of money. That's all. I don't know why I was expecting something else inside. What were you expecting? Well, there's our tickets there, too. The bus departing for Waterfront Village is about to close its doors in five minutes. And a ticket check is about to commence. Please have your tickets or passes ready for inspection. Thank you. Oh. I'll talk to you about it later. i just pull it out and put this back inside. I don't want to make him any more upset. Did you find it? Yeah, I did. Good. Anyway, I wonder what kind of ticket check they're going to do. I was wondering about that when I got here. I thought I'd be scanning these tickets, but I saw no barcodes on it. I wouldn't know. Well, we'll see soon enough. That was the only conversation you had with Mark before you sat there in silence for almost five minutes until the ticket check commenced. Someone who was called a conductor asked for the tickets. Your eyes were fixated on that little device he was holding. Until you heard a click, Mark handed his ticket to, you, handed his ticket to him, which he punched a hole into. That was the cause of that clicking sound. Interesting. I didn't know they still exist. The conductor smiled. Then he continued doing his job. Since your ticket, set, since your ticket hadn't been checked, you handed it to him. And once again, he punched the ticket with that small device. Ooh. You couldn't help but gaze in a state of awe over the small device. He gave you back your tickets, and you felt strangely excited. The conductor left your seat and onto the next ones where Mr. Parker and Coach Gil were sitting. Mark, did you see that? I certainly did. That thing is awesome. I can tell your tail's been wagging like, cr like it's crazy. Oh, heh. <laughs> I suppose I got a little bit excited over that thing. It's a ticket puncher. A ticket puncher? Okay. The bus will be departing shortly. Ah, here we go. Mark. What? About what I told you last night. Right. What are they doing? Here, try not to break it. We won't. <laughs> Thanks. Did you get it? 
Yeah, I did. Eeh, I've been waiting to play, been waiting to play this. You heard a noise that you, that you thought wasn't possible coming from a grown-up man. You know, I thought Mr. Parker was nothing about, and knows nothing about technology. They sure were excited over one gaming console. I promise that I'll lend him my smitch. My smitch. Now I'm bored. Now I'm gonna be bored. We can, we can do something else. Like what? Another game of truth or dare? Anything but that. Or should we continue what we started this morning? What you started? Following that logic, then I should finish it. No! No one else, no one will see. Come on. Don't you dare. You're no fun. And you're acting like Coach Gill. What's gotten into you? I'm just teasing you. So is he. Fine, we'll do something else. What do you have in mind? It's called Let's Close Our Eyes During the Whole Trip Game. That's just sleeping. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Aw, oh, okay then. Really, that's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I'm gonna take a nap. Yes, I know that. Hmm, I'll be here napping. If you need anything, just wake me up. Okay. Remember to wake me up, you hear? Yeah, I will. Maybe I should get some extra shut-eye too. I'm feeling sleepier than usual today. How long have I been out? Are we there yet? It seemed like everyone was out cold, especially Mark, whose head was resting on your shoulder. Hmm. That's so cute! Although my shoulder is kind of sore right now. Ugh, I want to move his head away, but I don't want to wake him up. As you had your dilemma about letting him stay on your shoulder or not, his phone that, his phone that he put next to him lit up. It was a text from an unknown number. How curious. You wondered if you should check the message or wake him up. It's not your business, but maybe you should just wake him up. I think it's best to wake him up, yeah. He tapped his, he tapped his hand gently, telling him that his phone just rang. What? Alright guys and gals, I'm going to go ahead and pause it right there. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and that notification bell. Leave a super thanks or a tip if you can, it always helps. Until the next video, I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!